New fossil material ready for extraction. Extracting species profile. Dreadnoughtus, a genus of giant titanosaurian sauropod dinosaur with a body the size of a house, the weight of a herd of elephants, Dreadnoughtus would have feared nothing. Extracting species profile. Carcharodontosaurus, a genus of large carnivorous theropod that existed during the Cenomanian stage of the mid-Cretaceous period. Extracting species profile. Iguanodon, a genus of ornithopod dinosaur. It was an herbivore that normally walked on all fours, but that could also stand on its hind limbs. Well, there it is. We have three, like out of nowhere, a Cretaceous dinosaur pack. Let's have a look at the three new dinosaurs that we've got coming. So first up is, of course, Dreadnoctus, which, or Dreadnoughtus, whatever you want to call it. One of the more uh, recently discovered giant sauropods. Um, I think Dreadnoughtus is supposed to be the biggest sauropod that's ever existed. And I think we've only ever found um, like partially, like a, a thema or something, or even, I don't even know, it's like barely been discovered, but it was recognized as a different species, and if it was to be believed, it is absolutely massive. Now, how is this going to play in Jurassic World Evolution? Well, I mean, from what we've seen in the trailer, um, I'm assuming uh, no different than any other herbivore. Maybe it'll have more requirement, it'll probably have more star rating, um, I'm, I hardly think it's going to require like a different feeder, like a bigger tree feeder, because it's got an even bigger neck. If Mementosaurus can reach it, I'm sure Dregnotus will. So this makes uh, Dregnotus one of the lesser more dinosaurs to be excited for in this expansion, I'm not going to lie. Even as far as its aesthetics go, I mean, Mementosaurus was the one that was like, whoa, that's a little bit taller than Brachiosaur. And Dregnotus is, well, that's the one that's slightly thicker than Mementosaurus. So it's a cool addition, but honestly, it doesn't really add anything to the game and even the dinosaur roster if I'm going to be completely honest. The second one is the fan favorite from JPOG, the Carcharodontosaurus. Um, and this even just looks wise, looks really cool. The shots that they've chosen to show of it, walking by the electric fence and taking down the dinosaur that we're going to be talking about in a second, the Iguanodon, uh, shows that they've actually reworked some of the animations. Yes, it is technically still the same Hadrosaur takedown animation that we've seen, but um, it does seem like they've they've realized the problem that everyone's getting sick of the same animations over and over. And when you see that, it's a bit like sound. If you hear the same sound effect, you start to realize that and it starts to get irritating. The same can happen with animation. When you start seeing the same thing over and over, you're like, oh, it's the same thing. So what they've decided to do, instead of giving themselves a whole new load of work, they've actually moved the animation instead of the Carcharodontosaurus biting the neck, it now bites the stomach and then takes it down. So it is technically the same animation, but it looks a little bit different. I see what you're doing there, Frontier. I do like it, though. I will like it. But the, the dinosaur that I'm actually most excited for is the next one, and that is, is of course, Iguanodon. Now, the one of the reasons why I'm super excited for Iguanodon, no, it's it's a Hadrosaur, so I'm not excited in that respect, because we've already got Corythosaurus, Parasaurus, Sinsatosaurus, Allura Titan, Mutaburosaurus, Myosaurus, and now Iguanodon. I've probably missed one as well. Now we've got Iguanodon added to the mix. No, what I'm excited about Iguanodon is something that should have came with Allura Titan. I would have been so so much happier with getting Iguanodon instead of Allura Titan because this is the one Hadrosaur that can actually fight back and kill a carnivore. Yes, this is more of the stuff I want. If Dreadnoughtus does nothing except it's just a reskinned Brachiosaur, I'll be sorely disappointed. Dreadnoughtus should be able to stamp on small carnivores and squish them, or even large carnivores if they're, you know, get in the way or they have some sort of fight. But here we see Iguanodon uh, impaling or hugging. Because <laughs> some hug squeezes. And uh, toast, uh, Carnotaurus. Uh, and killing it. Now, it does seem to be that they've reused the Ceratopsid uh, animation where 
um, the carnivore goes in for an attack over the top and then gets impaled and they've just sort of like rigged it to make it look like the iguanodon hugs it. Again, I see what you're doing there, cutting corners, but I am actually happy, not for the animation, but just that a friggin' Hadrosaur can fight back and I'm actually hoping that it won't be killed by Dilophosaurus as well uh, or any of the small carnivores. So guys, um, I'm gonna, I, I don't know what else this 1.6 update will bring. Um, I'm kind of tempted to do a live stream. If you do want to see a live stream, uh, leave it in the comments below and tell me your thoughts on these new carnivores or the Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack. Now that we've got this, does this open the door for Jurassic Pack and Triassic Pack and God knows what else? Um, I'm sure it does. I mean, we were kind of hoping for um, some fixes, maybe some more terrain, some decorations, just something to spice it up a little bit. Um, but Iguanodon is everything that we are wanting. Uh, Carcharodontosaurus, yeah, it's, it's another big carnivore. We've already got Giga, we've already got T-Rex. It's nice to see something different. Dreadnoughtosaurus is definitely not needed, but Iguanodon is sorely needed. It, it spices up the roster if other people, you know, this is the kind of thing we want. Maybe you go through and you make all the Hadrosaurs and you think, well, they can just be killed by carnivores. I, I know, I'll make a Iguanodon have that killed by a carnivore. And then the Iguanodon kills the carnivore. That's more of the living, breathing aspect that we want to feel when we're taking care of an island at or our own like bio world, uh, you know, we're recreating a, a prehistoric uh, world um, and Iguanodon just breathes a breath of fresh air into it. The fact that it can fight back against carnivores. And I you haven't done far long enough. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, of course, do leave a like. Um, I will, of course, be covering this as soon as it becomes available on Steam. Uh, I may even live stream it because I, I really do prefer doing live streams. Um, still in, in, interacting with you guys. But I'm going to leave it here and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,